Hello everyone, welcome back to AKT Developers. So here's some something exciting for you. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a walking animation in Android Kotlin. So as you can see, this is our application, and here we are having two buttons: Start and Stop. When we click on Start, our robot starts walking. Tick tock, tick tock. And when we click on Stop, it stops. Again, Start, it starts walking. Again, Stop, it starts walking. So this type of application we are going to create in our uh, today's tutorial and uh, I would like to say you that this animation is called as frame simple frame animation I will show you how to create it so keep watching so let's start creating our first animation application of the walking robot I had created a simple Kotlin project which I had named at, uh, as robot walk frame animation and here's all my project files this is my XML file to design layout and this is my main Kotlin file. So let's start our project by designing a layout. First of all, we will create a linear layout in which we will add all our images and buttons. Give it width as match parent and height as match parent. And let's give it orientation as, as vertical and then give it gravity as horizontal center horizontal now let's add the image to our uh, application for that we will use image view and let's give it width as 306 dp and height as 436 dp i am giving it as per my wish but uh, just to show you how to create that animation but you can design it as per your wish now let's give it margin vertical as 10 dp as well as padding top and bottom as 10 dp let's give a description to our image uh, let's give it as animated robot and let's give it background okay we will give it background add image to our image view later now let's get one more linear layout to add our buttons so for that width must be match pan and height must be 100 dp Now let's give it margin bottom, bottom as 10 dp to design uh, so that it will look good and uh, orientation as horizontal and let's give it uh, it should be bot uh, at the bottom of our uh, image view so let's give it layout bottom under bottom of our parent so now copy the same and do it for right as well as left to design better now let's make it right off and here left, left off Now let's add buttons to our bottom of our image view. Give it width as uh, match parent, sorry, wrap content and height as wrap content and ID as let's give ID to our the first button as start walking, which will make our robot to start walking and uh, give it the weight as 1 and text size as 25 dp text style as bold let's change background to white color
and uh, text color as uh, let's give it uh, green green dark and let's add, add text to our button start now copy this button and paste it down to add one more button with same properties let's change id to stop walking and text to stop and let's change its color to dark red so i think our ui is now ready okay wait we need to add image to our image view it is in it seems blank so now we need to uh, add image in our image view but that image should be animated I must be walking robot so for that yes you know uh, resources you can see my mipmap uh, folder is empty yes i am doing images which is by default created while creating a project now here I am having the collection of some images. Now, what are these images? Uh, I had captured the images of the robot while the robot was walking. After every one millisecond, I captured these images. I am having overall 35 images of that robot. As you can see, all images are having are same but having minor difference. Uh, as the robot was walking, I captured these all images. So I am adding all these images. You can also do that and create a simple frame animation. Uh, so copy all this and paste it to our mipnap sdpi folder as you can see all the images have been added to my mipnap folder now in order to add it to all these all images to our image view we need to create our xml file new drawable resource file and resource file now let's name it uh, resource file as robot underscore walking and uh, change root element to animation list because we need to add list of the images all the images we need to add now here we will make one shoot Sorry for that. One should Android equals to false, and here we will add all the list of our robot item. Let's make duration of item as Android, and add the uh, images from our mipmap folder. So, at the rate mipmap slash name of the image which first image view you want to display on image view so my first image name is start one which is this one image so i had added that image now do the same for all the images and add them all so i'm copying and pasting so in this way add all the image for example one two three So add all the images to our list. Now after walking, now after adding all the images, you will see this type of stuff in your uh, drawable file. As you can see, I had added all the images to my this drawable robot walking drawable file. Now set image view background as. Uh, and the red drawable robot walking as you can see we had kept the background as this file now i think our ui is ready now let's go to our main file and add the real animation logic now our, we are having two buttons here right first one is start walking and second one is stop walking so let's perform action on start walking Start walking dot set 
on click listener when user will click on start button at that time the background of image view background of image view will change and it will the list will start running one by one after every millisecond so we need to call start method dot start right now you must be thinking what's this animation drawable so animation drawable is a thing which contains all the uh, animation libraries which we are going to be use here uh, for the our frame animation now do same for our stop uh, walking button okay first so save on click listener let's create a uh, same object as bg image equals to and the image view dot background dot is that as animation driver and bg image when but the user will click stop button the animation will stop so here's a simple logic when user will click start uh, walking button at that time uh, this object will be created of our image view which will change uh, our background of image view to uh, the list that we had created and added all the uh, images and it will start replacing after every 1 millisecond now why after every 1 millisecond it will replace because in our this drawable file we had given duration as 1 millisecond 100 which means 1 millisecond after every 1 millisecond this image will change this image will replace with this image and so on so let's run the program and see if uh, our program is app is running properly or not So as you can see over here, our image view has been added with some background image. Here's our two button start and stop. When we click on start, our image starts walking. And when we click on stop, it stops walking. When again start, it starts walking. So this is a simple frame animation which we had used in an innovative way where the robot start, robot start walking and stop walking. So in this way you can create the simple animation. Uh, which may, uh, seems to be attractive and something new. So, hope you like this animation tutorial. Thanks for watching.